wonder what happens to people when they get out of prison or jail. Well, a few of them become actors. A group of former inmates is touring California in a play about violence and racial segregation behind bars. It's called Off the Hook, and it plays tonight in Sacramento. Two of the cast members join us, along with the, the author of the play. She, the playwright, is Deborah Tobola. She's also artistic director of the Poetic Justice Project, which puts on the show, and she's the founder of that group. The actors are Cooper Wise and Guillermo Willey. Cooper, Guillermo, Deborah, welcome to Inside. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Deborah, what's the story behind the play? What led you to write this play, and how did you come up with the theme? Um, well, we have a wonderful group of very talented actors and singers and musicians, and I wanted to write uh, an ensemble piece. The last play we did locally in San Luis Obispo, it basically had two main characters and then supporting roles. So I wanted to look at some things inside prison that perhaps people wouldn't know about unless they had served time or worked in an institution or maybe had a family member in there. Such as? What kind of things? Um, like, you know, how difficult it is for staff people to care about prisoners, how there's this line that you can't cross. So we have one plot line that looks at that with an officer and a young inmate named John Boy, played by Cooper. And then also just the degree of racial separation. Um, I think most people would be surprised to learn that, for example, in many institutions, if a Caucasian inmate shares part of his food with a, an African American inmate, that can be a virtual death sentence. So our play looks at that also. Let's talk to our actors now. Um, Cooper Wise, um, what's your story? How did you find out about acting, the Poetic Justice Project, and where were you at that time? Um, well, I kind of am a different, a little bit of a different story because I um, got into theater really at a young age, around 13, and went to a performing arts high school um, and uh, went to a, an acting conservatory. but. Um, all the while had a problem with drugs and alcohol, which uh, landed me in and out of jails and institutions and um, just struggling to to get myself together. And um, last time coming out of jail, I was in a sentence to a diversion program as an alternative option instead of going to prison, a kind of a drug treatment program. And um, Deborah, I think, came to that program and, and kind of mentioned what, what she was doing. and. Um, it sounded really interesting because one, I you know, I had a love for theater already, and um, had some experience with the criminal justice system, and so I was really excited uh, that some, an opportunity like this um, came to me, and um, to be able to uh, an outlet, you know, to focus my creative energy into something and uh, be a productive member of society once again. You know. And Guillermo Willie, uh, what's your story? Where were you? Uh, when you were behind bars, and how did you find out about acting and Poetic Justice Project? Uh, I knew Deborah when I was at the California Men's Colony in uh, San Luis Obispo. Uh, she was artist facilitator for arts and corrections at that time, and I'm an artist, so I would always take part in whatever arts and corrections classes were available. I met her there, and then one day, years later, I told her, hey, I'm going to parole. And uh, she mentioned that she was going to retire and was wanting to start a nonprofit that would help paroling artists. And so after getting out, I learned to use a computer and Googled her, ran into her. And uh, later she told me that she was putting a play together that had originally been um, um, played in prison and for me to come in audition. And so I went there, auditioned, and I got the part, and this is the second play we're putting, we're performing. And I spent 38 years of my life in prison, and find I paroled uh, December 2008, and find life to be beautiful, and doing this, I, I tend to feel that what we're doing will somehow, along the line, help younger people see 
what they don't want to be a part of. Rather than glamorizing the prison experience, we show it the way it is, and if you look at it, there's nothing pretty about it. Cooper Wise, how realistic is the story and, and the script of Off the Hook? You've been behind bars yourself, and those of us who haven't have these ideas about what life is like. Mm -hmm. how, how realistic is this story? Um, I think that was one of the main goals uh, with Deborah, and uh, the, the production was to keep it real. And, um, you know, some of us, some of the other members, had only sp spent a little time in county jail, and, um, you know, some of the people like Willie, who had spent 38 years of their lives, would, would kind of... Um, tone it down and say, no, that wouldn't happen in prison, you know, and you know, I've only been to jail myself, um, so there was a, a balance of, of making a theatrical production and also keeping it real to the, the nature of what inside prison is like. And for my character, um, I relate completely to the story, um, him having a, a issue with drugs and, and kind of having a change of heart is almost parallels my life, so it's kind of interesting in that regard. Deborah Tabola, it, it seems like there could be many goals for this project. What's the main goal from your point of view? Well, it's two, actually. First, we want to bring these authentic stories, original plays, to audiences in our state and country, because we spend so much money um, incarcerating people and we have such a high incarceration rate so we want people to realize what we're paying for here not just with dollars but human lives and second while we're doing that with the public we are helping the people in our productions um, find a way back into their communities through these projects and we found that theater is a, a powerful vehicle for them to do that. So. Guillermo Willie, with all the years you spent in prison, it would be understandable if you just wanted nothing to do with prison anymore, but here you are touring in a play set in a prison. Um, someone else said that, but it's, I feel a need to do this. Um, there's people that can be helped somehow through this and it would for me it would seem ridiculous to turn my back on it. I've been advised, hey Willie, just go off into the woodwork and disappear. And it's like I can't do that. I, I need to help out with this. What about you Cooper Wise? Is the is is that ever been an issue for you that being involved in this production has brought back memories that you prefer to just get rid of? Um for me, I, I don't want to forget um, where I've been and, um, you know, spending those those months locked up and having that horrible feeling because um, being, you know, far removed from that, I, I could easily slip back into an old way of life, which would bring me back there. Um, so, and it's also, uh, you know, it's a character. Um, you know, you leave that at home. You know, you leave that at the workspace and you don't take it home with you. Um, but it, for me, it, it's... It's important to remember, you know, where I've come from and where I'm at now. Off the Hook plays in Sacramento tonight at California Stage at 2509 R Street. It's part of a tour of California. We're going up to Reading next. Deborah Tabola wrote the play. She's artistic director and founder of the Poetic Justice Project, which produces a show. Two of the cast members uh, also joined us, Cooper Wise and Guillermo Willie. They, like the other cast members, um, have experience of being behind bars and the play set in prison. Deborah, Cooper, Guillermo, thanks for joining us. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank you. You're listening to Insight from Capital Public Radio. Coming up, Reunion in Carmel.